Ready? Yeah. Do you want to start? Should I start? Well, you're better at starting, but do you think okay. I, maybe I should start? Because just to mix it up. Okay. It's going crazy. Let's go crazy and you start. Going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Hi Bye. guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, we haven't seen each other for quite a while. No. Like to film. No. So Lovely. welcome back to us being together. Months. It has been months. months. We've had to do separate videos because we just haven't. We've seen each other, but not to film. Not to film. Um, but today we have an exciting video. It contains alcohol. Yay! We like alcohol, so yes. Seems to be our popular video. It, the it is <laughs> the drunk video. I don't know what this is about us. What it says about you. I don't know. I don't know. But today we're going to be showing you three of our favourite champagne cocktails. Yay! So the first one we're going to try is the French 75, which if you're into Mad Men and that kind of classic era, apparently this is going to be the drink for you. It's going to be a long drink containing gin. Um, I haven't actually tried this one before, but you have, I believe. Yes. So, yeah, let's, let's get started. <laughs> Celebrate good times, come on! Do, 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 do. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pour out two measurements. It says two ounces, but we're going by the, like, two shots. Yeah, two and shots. Two measures. Two measures of two. It's an ounce of measure, William. There we go. Wow, okay. Right, ready? Oh man, I'm drunk already. <laughs> drunk just smelling it. Right. Gin in. Gin in. Right, what's next? Uh -huh. Oh, so I need some lemon juice. Let me squirt this everywhere. Lemon <laughs> 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 attack! <laughs> Luckily, we only need half an ounce of lemon juice in each, so <laughs> hopefully that was enough. So the next thing is a teaspoon of sugar. Do you think a heap teaspoon or just like a level teaspoon? I think that's okay. That is. That's all right. Right, there we go. We realised our mistake. We forgot to put it in the cocktail shaker. We would not make good barmaids. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour <laughs> what we... We still measured it. It was being cool. measured into the cocktail maker. And right. I'm going to pop some ice into our glasses. I'm going to pop that on top. Like There's ice that. in the shaker as well. I need to make sure this is going to go everywhere. Yeah, lid on, that's a good idea. No, 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 on the, <laughs> on the, on the sides, right. This is where I'm going to go cocktail. Look at the bubbles. I just feel like we're having like a tumbler full of champagne. Like, <laughs> like what do you want for lunch? Just a glass of champagne. Just the one glass will do. <laughs> well, that is, cheers, cocktail one. Complete, you're already in there. I need to taste it. Let's see what it's like, don't I? Not bad. Mmm. It's quite um, bitter. Yeah. If you want it to be sweeter, more sugar. More sugar, definitely. But I quite like that. I think especially because it's with the, um, I got the driest carver that I could find. You could get something that was like semi sec or something. Mm. But I got the driest one. And I quite like that. Mm. That's nice. It just adds a little bit of something to it, but it's not... It's got a kick. Yeah. It's not so much that you like, you can't taste the wine. I really like it. Mm. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. The next cocktail is one that I'm really excited about. It's the Champagne Cosmopolitan, which I've only tried once before, but a Cosmopolitan is my all-time favourite cocktail. And this is just a little bit of a more, I don't know, celebratory twist mm. on a really classic cocktail. So remembered to use the cocktail maker for this <laughs> one, and we filled that with ice, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put one and a half ounces of vodka in there. So we're guessing, again, that's one, of those, like, that's like three shots, right? So that's two. By a half. Oh. <laughs> That'll do. A little bit more vodka than we were gonna put. <laughs> we'll just like slightly level everything up. That cocktail's gone to my Ooh. head. The first one is gone. Slightly level really. everything up a little bit. Um, and then we go for half an ounce of triple sec, Grand Marnier, whatever we're Oh, but it's a half. So half. 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 Maybe put one in, because I doubled up on that one. <laughs> Maybe put one, this in a bit. Because <laughs> right. this is a big flavour thing. Okay. In a, in the Cosmo. <laughs> it says half an ounce of cranberry juice, but we're kind of, you know, we'll do one. We'll do one whole. Okay. And what, are you, what are you doing? I'm 
wine cutting and wine. Ooh. Maya will actually eat these. Does he? Yeah, he thinks he calls them lemonade. You know when you get a drink with some lemon in it? Because can I have your lemonade? Oh. You know, normally it's gin so so he sleeps better. Right, so one of these. Why did you laugh at that? That sounds like it was a real thing that happened. <laughs> Half, let's say half ish of an ounce of lime juice. Okay, Bit any more? Bit, maybe. Um, and now we just shake, shake, shake it. Shake it off, shake it off. Right, I think that's shaking. Shaking, but not stirred. <laughs> okay, let's hope this doesn't fall everywhere. Am I going to true? Whatever you've got left, pour it into your jug, and then you can keep this in the fridge. And as and when you want it, you can top it up with your sparkling wine. It just means that the wine, the whole concoction, is not going to go flat. Don't put any ice in there with it because that'll dilute the mixture, um, and you can save it for later. Now, time to add the bubbles. The bubbles. Cling. <laughs> Unintentional clink. Look at that. See, this is so like sketch. <laughs> yes, totally. Stop trying to make sketch happen. <laughs> nice. Mm. Nice, that nice, nice. So nice. It did say in the recipe um, if you've only got dry sparkling wine to add in a little bit of sugar. So you could do that if you wanted to. Mm. Or use just a sweeter sparkling wine. But I really like this. Or add some more cranberry juice. Mm. Like it. It just looks a little bit swanky. It does look very swanky pants in these yeah. um, glasses. Looks very Mad Men, like you say. Mm, mm. Very Art Deco. Yeah. I'm I feel like we should be in like full attire now to drink these, you know? Okay. So our final cocktail is the Blushing Mimosa. I like that name. Blushing mimosa. M mimosa. Um, right, same thing again. Filled the cocktail shaker with ice. And what do we need for this one? We need a cup. Now, just quickly, because I've had so many baking recipes over the years that call for a cup of. And things that, like cup measurements, can be quite expensive. I got this from Ikea for like a couple of pounds. Um, super, super cheap. But a cup is basically 100 ml if you're talking about liquid. So we need two cups of orange juice to start. And voila. And then I need one cup of pineapple juice. So I need you do two cups first. Okay. And then one cup. One cup. One cup. Because the job of plenty. Nice. Okay, what's next? A um, little bit of grenadine, but I think we're going to put that in a glass before we go because it kind of. whole point of it? No, let's sit at the bottom of the glass. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. so do you want to shake? Because she's not shaking. I'm going to shake. You shake. I'm going to shake it off. Maybe. Let's be honest, you didn't really need to shake that. No, it's just fruit juices, but you know. Right, we're really liking the shaking. So we need the flutes. Flutes. Oh my god. And we need the grenadine. Ta da! Flutes. Flutes and grenadine. I'm sure put the grenadine in first. Go on then. Yeah. Will we still get the sunrise effect? We'll find out. We will find. Let's do one of each. Yes. So I'll do a little bit. Ooh, and that one. Do you want to pull? I do. What do you do? Well, oh, this could be slightly more difficult in this tiny, tiny glass. Ooh. Okay, that might have been a touch too much grenadine. Let's try it this way around. Oh, I think it's, it's going to work better in that one. Yeah, I think so too. You're going to get the, the swirl. Equal parts. Um, oh, oh, that's so pretty. So that's not how that's to answer not, the question. Not how to do it. How to do it. Well, it really depends on what you want. If you want just like a, a blushing drink. But if you want, you know, if you're going to use grenadine, I think you may as well get the sunrise look. Mm. You may as well. Um, but let's just see what happens now. You see, it swirls anyway yeah. when you put in the champagne. 
I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, definitely. And that one's just a touch too much glimmer ding, but a bit too much. That's okay. But I, I love it. Work with it. When I was a kid, my mum used to make me a Mikhail sunrise. Oh, Mikhail sunrise. It was just orange juice and grenadine, because grenadine is non-alcoholic, but that you can get non-alcoholic grenadine. Mikhail sunrise. I thought that was cute. Let's try each of them and see if it makes a difference. Oh, mm. that's delicious. That is so mm. good. I know that it's not technically summer, and we had kind of a rubbish summer anyway, but it's kind of summer in a glass. <laughs> it is, it is. Cheers. 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 So that is it for today's video. I have really enjoyed this one. Yeah. This I has have. been fun. I think we might do some more in the future. We've done these, I mean, I like the champagne cocktail idea anyway, because it's a bit more fun than your average cocktail. And you know that at the end of the day, you're still putting a little bit of bubbly fun into it anyway. Mm. Um, but we might do some more in the future. If you've got any particular themes that you'd like us to stick to, obviously. <laughs> we'll be sticking to the alcohol well, theme. Alcohol but theme. <laughs> but if you want us to try anything else, yeah, non alcohol related, you want us to show you how to make stuff. We look, I'm, I've been looking at milkshakes. There are some really funky, yes. like, layered milkshakes that I'd yes. like to give a go. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing some stuff for Halloween. Um, Christmas. Christmas. Oh, Christmas. I do love a bit of a seasonal something, and then we might return. Christmas cocktail. Sorry, I'm going yes. off on a tangent. Totally, you can get like special things for Christmas and do like cinnamony. We could try mulled wine. Mm. Do you know what? I really want to try and make our own cider. Yes, that but I need good. an apple press. <laughs> apple press. You, it's like you're asking me. I Have need got an, an apple press. press. <laughs> Just because I'm from the country, like in Somerset. You've got that area. thing, right? The Nutri Bullet thing. Have you got one of those? Oh yeah, I've got a blender. blender. Can you use that? I don't know. Can, can you? Don't know. I really want to have a go at something kind of autumnal next. Mm. Maybe that. I think we'll revisit the champagne for New Year's. Yes. Do some different ones. Um, but I've really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have as well. Um, and if you've got any particular requests for seasonal videos for when we're together next, please let us know and stay tuned as we have some exciting news next week. It's not going to affect you in any way. It's going to affect us. We're really excited about it. Um, but there's some exciting news in a video next week. Um, and an upcoming baking series mm -hmm. as a result. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us, even though we are really sporadic uploaders here. Um, but yeah, thanks anyway. And um, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna truth. Oh my God. No, oh, you made a mess. It's okay. How did that happen? Wait, that's like, <laughs> could be like straight vodka. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh my god, what did you just drink? <laughs>